100 days surviving on this Minecraft island. But I can't cross the red circle. Let's see what I can build. Day 1. This day consisted of exploring the island, which, since it's very small, there's not much to explore. A few trees, pigs, cows, chickens, and a couple of carrots. And there's even some sugarcane on the island. Managed to harvest some wheat seeds, wood, made some tools, and the goal is to find some coal to make torches. Day 2. I could not find any coal, so I spent the night blocked in a hole until daylight. Not very exciting for a video, but daylight arrived and I continued looking for coal. Now, the farther I went down, it just got too dark, so I couldn't see what I was mining. So I made numerous test holes around the island hoping to find some surface level coal. After failed attempts at finding coal on this tiny tiny island, it was dark again, and I spent the night blocked in by dirt. Not much to film for a video. Day 3. Today is the day I will find coal. I hope. I didn't realize how hard it would be to find coal when you can't travel very far from where you started. Changing up the strategy, I dove underwater to see if I could find any surface level coal. But there was nothing. Just sand. And after digging, I realized the sand was too deep to attempt digging underwater. So I thought maybe I could dig up the top of the cave opening. And this might help get more natural sunlight in the mine shaft. And it didn't really help. But after digging in the dark, I finally found a couple pieces of coal. Made a couple torches, but that wasn't nearly enough. So I spent the rest of the day mining for coal and iron. Day 4. Finally, let's do something different than mining. And on this day, I decided to set up a garden. With some of the wheat and carrot seeds I had. Day 5. This day I spent gathering materials. Day 6. Continuing to mine materials, I finally hit some good ore. And while digging, I ran into the red circle barrier. Which is really not that hard since the island is so small. And mining solely with a stone and iron pickaxe, it really took a long time to mine all this material. Now day 7 was a continuation of day 6. More mining. Then day 8, I continued to mine, and I found a cavern, which led to some more coal and iron. And I found the other side of the circle, which is really not that hard since the island is so small. Day 9, this day I spent harvesting wood and crops. Then I made a few animal pens and lured the cows and pigs into the pens with wheat and carrot seeds. Day 10. This day I started clearing out the front of the island, as I think a great future base could go here, and I harvested some more wood and plants for some more crops. Day 11 through day 15. This time was spent harvesting stone, which I'll use to make stone brick blocks. And I'll use a lot of oak trees for oak planks, which I think I'm going to build a castle on my island. Day 16. Now since space is limited on the island, I need to maximize every inch I have. So I decided to build out onto the water with little platforms. And out here I'm going to build farming crops. As well as building a pen for the chickens and building land platforms for harvesting more farms. Day 17 through day 25. Now this time was spent building, and I wanted to get some sort of centralized base going. And now I think is the perfect time to start building the castle. Now this castle uses a lot of basic earth materials, which makes it great for early game bases like this one. And since I have an oak tree farm, I don't have to worry about running out of lumber. And I have plenty of cobblestone blocks that I gathered from before, from hollowing out under the island.
Now this castle has a three floor design and it's primarily a box, so it's really not that complicated to build. Also, I added in a grand looking stairway to the castle on the left side. And as you can see, I'm running out of island, but I'm gonna build out the land a little bit farther into the water. And I'll do that later on. Day 26, I spent this day farming crops, feeding the cows, pigs, chickens, and harvesting wood from the tree farm. Day 27 through day 30. Now this time I focused on the aesthetic of my island and I built out sand in front of the castle. Also, since I have a castle on my island, I need to put a wall up around the island as it only makes sense. Day 31, now I spent this day adding torches and extra support columns under the new castle walls. Day 32 through day 35, next up is a guard tower in the back right corner of my island. Day 36. Now this day I spent harvesting crops, feeding the animals, and harvesting wood. Just the basic chores on the island. And I did a little bit more mining for materials as well.
Day 37 through day 42. Now I needed a way to get to my tower without having to use the castle walls. So I ended up building a bridge, and I went with this suspension style bridge look. And I built this bridge mainly out of extinguished campfire blocks, as I really like the way it looks when it's extinguished. Now, with this bridge completed, it allows access from the main castle tower over to the back corner of the guard tower. Which is super convenient, and I really like not having to walk all the way around. Plus, I really like the look of it, too. And I think it turned out pretty decent. Now, if it was in creative mode, I could make it look a lot better. But being in survival, it was kind of a pain to get up on the scaffolding, place the blocks, and get it in the right spot. But I think we pulled off the suspension style bridge look. Day 43 through day 50. Next, I mined more materials below my base. Which I stocked up on cobblestone, and I turned many of the cobblestone into stone bricks. Which used up a ton of wood in the furnaces. Now I spent a ton of days mining down here, as I was running low on materials. And I might build down here as well, as we still have 50 days to go. Day 51. This day involved building a retaining wall and making an entrance down to the underground portion of the base. The next 11 days were spent mining out underneath the base, which was a great way to resupply my cobblestone supply. And I'm also planning to build an underground base down here as well. Day 64 through 76, next I started work on the entrance to the underground base, and I laid out a circle with oak logs. And I extended the logs down into the water. Then I started the process of draining out the water in the center and continuing to dig down. And my plan was to reach the level I dug out underneath before.
Day 77 through 81. Now these four Minecraft days consisted of building out the bottom of the base area, and I dug out a staircase that leads down lower as well. But instead of continuing downwards, I decided to turn this area up here into a library. Which I added an enchanting area with bookcases incorporated into the walls. Day 82 through day 87. Now back on top I started filling and decorating this base. And for the top area I decided to make this a work area with crafting tables, furnaces, as well as storage. Now as I was looking at the base, it looked too open for me, and since there was a lot of oak wood material, it kind of looked like a big tree stump. So I added in oak leaves to the base, and this made it feel a lot cozier and not so open. Day 88 through day 99. Now with this main level looking better, I went down to the next floor. Now since I don't have much space inside the red circle, I've been losing a lot of water area as I've been filling in with land and base areas. So down here, I wanted to add some kind of water feature and I decided to do a wraparound fish tank. Then for the rest of the time on the island, I spent harvesting wood materials, sand for the glass, gathering leather from the cows and many other materials that I needed. Now, 100 days of Minecraft are completed, and in this time I've built this little island out and stuffed it with a castle, a water garden, and I also built island areas for the cows, pigs, and chickens. And I also extended the land area in the back for a tree farm. Then I built a castle wall that surrounded the island. And I even installed a guard tower with a cool looking suspension bridge. And I mined out under the island for more space and built an underground base featuring a large workshop area, storage area, a large wraparound fish tank on the second level, and a large enchanting area downstairs. And with that being said, that's going to conclude today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later guys!